Hey everybody, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. So, um, as most of you know, I'm a huge fan of Doodlebug, and Country Craft Creations is going to start carrying more Doodle, or carrying Doodlebug. Um, in the past, they have brought in, like, individual lines here and there, but never really carried the whole thing. And um, I had actually done a live on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations the other night, talking about, you know, the different elements and things within a Doodlebug collection. And I said I would do a video on how I sort the odds and ends for a Doodlebug collection. So that's what we're going to do today. So I have the odds and ends pack for the Pretty Kitty line. This is the new line that just came out here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, this particular odds and ends pack has 137 pieces. And of course, on the back, it's got you know, pictures of what all of those little pieces are. Um, because there are so many pieces and they're so varied in size, the easiest way to see what you have and kind of figure out what you want to use in a project and how you want to put those together is to sort these out. So, a couple of ways to do this. Typically, I will dump them into one of these trays. So these, <laughs> weirdly enough, these are trays from In-N-Out Burger, which if you're on the West Coast, you know what In-N-Out Burger is, hopefully. Um, and when you go into the restaurant and you order your food, they come out, it comes out in these, these little red plastic trays. Well, they sell these trays on their website for $3 a piece. So I have literally a stack of them. I think I have, what, six or seven of them down here. I have some up in the kitchen that I use. I have another stack of them out in our uh, camp trailer that we use, like when we're camping, like if we're doing, you know, hot dogs or something around the fire and you're just kind of sitting around it, they're really cool. Like just, just to sit on your lap with your stuff in it and it's not going to fall out, but I use them in my craft room for all kinds of things. So like when I'm doing a lot of things with stencils and with ink blending, um, a lot of times I'll have one of these just off to the side with about half an inch of water in them. So when I finish with a stencil, I can just drop it in here and then clean them up later. And that way the ink doesn't set on them. But I typically will dump my odds and ends in here and then sort them kind of by size and I'll stand them up around the outside edge and then like make little piles of smaller ones in the middle. You know, that works for me. That's probably not ideal if you're newer to Doodlebug. So um, I know one of the things that is popular are the uh, like condiment trays or something. I'm not even sure if they have an actual name from uh, Dollar Tree. So I've got two different ones here. I've got like a long one and then I've got one that's a little bit smaller, but the, you know, that's not quite as long. These work really well too. And then just recently here, cleaned out the cupboard. And since my son has absolutely outgrown <laughs> these plates, which kind of made me sad and I couldn't quite make myself throw them away. So they ended up down here. These will also be good for sorting out odds and ends. And just so you can kind of, see better what I'm sorting out. These are what I'm actually going to use today. We may end up pulling in one of those Dollar Tree trays, but we'll see for now. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up and I'm literally just going to dump these all out. Okay. And you can see we have tiny pieces, we have big pieces, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So I'll set that aside. First thing I'm going to do is kind of go through here and separate out elements. So we have, um, in this particular collection, we have the little buildings. We have, you know, different cats at home things. So we've got some little windows here. We've got um, the cat having built a sandcastle in his litter box, which if you have cats, you know, it seems like sometimes that is exactly what they're in there doing. <laughs> we have actually a couple of super cute, um, elements in here where it looks it's like you're looking down at the cat from above so he's this one's eating this one's playing with his yarn so I'm gonna sort just cats like this I really like that into a pile and then as I find other elements that I need to sort differently I'm just gonna start new piles so like I have super cute little mouse a little mouse is gonna go over here a little fish is gonna go over here um, We've got like the little cat toys, you know, on the little sticks with the strings that you play with them. 
So I'm going to set those kind of up here, I guess. Um, you know, another cat like hiding in the bottom of his little kitty condo thing. We've got paw prints. We've got just a little kitty head. We have a little shrimp. We have hearts. Um, another little cat. We have some cat treats. So just, you know, and since this one's a little, yeah, I'll add him to that pile for now. So again, just sort them out. So this would be more of like a home element. So I'm going to put this with these over here. We have another little um, building one there. I'm not little. These are actually really good sized. Uh, another building. We have the kitty in the box, which my cat is not a box cat. Kind of surprises me. Got a little cat with the bird. We've got the fire truck getting the kitty out of the tree. So we're going to put that one, I think, with the little buildings. There's another building. We've got another tree with a cat in it. So we're going to start, which I think I'm going to do it this way. So we've got cat treats, catnip, cat food. We have a spray bottle, which again, if any of you have cats, you know how this goes. <laughs> the cats get in trouble and that's the easiest way to keep them from doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing. Okay, food. We have a little hello my name is tag. I mean, how cute is that? We have another paw print. Thing. We've got a whole bunch of little yarn balls in different colors, which is fun. We've got another kitty head, another kitty, kitty head, fishbowl, a little kitty sitting on top of the doggy, another kitty in a kitty condo, kitty in a box, kitty trying to get into the cat treats. We're going to put that with food. That's another food. There's another fish bone and a heart. And another little shrimp, and another little fish bone, another little kitty head, and we've got a toy here. So I'm going to just kind of put that over there. And we have another heart and a fish. And since some of these little paw things are also little tags, I'm just going to add those there. We're going to put the milk there. Add that there. There's another kitty food, and a head, and a tree. And another tree. And we have a box full of kitties. We have another kitty. We have more food. We have like a leash, which I'm pretty sure if I tried to put my cat on a leash, he would probably try to run away from home the first chance he got. <laughs> we have a can opener. Um, we have a sock. Not quite sure what to do with the sock, but we'll figure it out. Another yarn ball. We have a little bird that we're going to put with the mouse, another little fish, um, kitty toothpaste, which again, pretty sure if I try to do that to my cat, he's going to take my hand off. So he's very easy going for the most part, but he would not appreciate that in the least. <laughs> okay, kitty hiding in the plant, we're going to put with that one. Kitty carrier, another kitty on a cat tree. We have a treat. We have a fish. Another little thing there and some more little food type things. We have an adopt a kitty booth, which that's perfect that there's an orange kitty because both of our orange kitties were adoptions that were a little bit older. And then we've got the kitty with the TV. And we've got hearts again and another little kitty head and another little kitty and then the scoops and the brush for the grooming. kitty toothpaste, we've got a kitty in his bed, another kitty and another little comb, and these little like, I'm not sure if these are starbursts or what these are, but they're cute. Yeah, see, cute little things there. And a little bird, and another little mouse, and a heart, and a heart. Oops. We have a dish, and a dish another paw print and another heart and a sock and a heart uh, and we have I'm assuming a puppy I don't know if he's supposed to be in here but okay um, another little heart a little head another kitty in a chair and another little heart so 
we've got our little piles here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these little like grooming tools. I'm going to put all of those together and I'm going to drop them in a spot. I am going to take all of these little hearts and these little sunburst pieces and I'm going to put those in another one. Okay. And to that, I think I'm going to go ahead and put those little sock pieces in there. And then in another one of these little spots, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that tray is out of frame. Ah. Okay, so I've got these little birds and the little mice. So I'm going to put them together. And I have a toy here. And those little toys, I'm going to kind of put those together. My little yarn balls. So they're separated out, but they're kind of similar items that we can put all together there. Okay, uh, all the little kitty heads, which I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but we'll figure something out. We're going to stack there. Paw prints, we're going to put, and uh, little like name tag thingies we're going to put there. And all of our little fish and shrimp are going to go there. Okay, so we've got these nice big pieces with the little buildings and the tree with the cat stuck in it and I'm going to set those right there okay actually I'm going to put them on this side because all of my little household elements so we've got the kitties in the chair kitties in the laundry basket huh? that's probably why we have socks um, <laughs> and in the plant and then all of their little, you know, cat trees and things. We're going to put all of those there. And then we have this little window element that is adorable. And we're going to put that there as well. And then I'm going to take all of my little individual kitties. Actually, I'm going to put that there because that maybe is a toy. I don't know. I'm going to put up here. My trees, I think I'm going to just put with my buildings because that makes sense that those would go together. And then all of my little food elements, I think I'm actually going to move all of the little grooming tools up there. And I'm going to put all my little food elements there. So now I've got them sorted out. So as I'm going through and um, decorating a project or doing a layout or some cards or something like that, I can very easily go, okay, I need a bigger piece. What do I want? Do I want a building? Do I want, you know, something like the little cat sitting in the chair? And it's very easy for me to go through and find those. If I'm going, okay, I need something small, like some hearts, I you know right where I need to go to find those as well. So that's kind of my thought process between behind organizing these and it just makes them that much easier to use and to see what it is that you have. Okay, so I'm going to move that for right now. And now I am going to grab the, maybe, chit chat. Okay, this is the other element that there's a lot, a lot of pieces to. Okay, for this one I am going to use the Dollar Tree tray. So chit chat, we have 95 pieces in here. Now I know you guys have probably seen Sally kind of go through these kind of things before. And she likes to mix her odds and ends in her chit chat. And quite honestly, more power to her because it makes me crazy. I have to keep them separate. I'm weird like that. I do this with normal ephemera for like simple stories or echo park or anything like that. I do the exact same thing. So chit chat is easier to sort. So what we're going to do, you're going to have a bunch of these little like speech bubble pieces. Okay. So I'm literally going to sort all of those into a pile, okay? You're gonna have, every time in the chit chat in recent years, you're gonna have a couple of cute banner pieces, okay? Those will go together. You're gonna have some little stamp pieces. Those are gonna go together. So the basic idea, you know, we've got little flags, is just like pieces with like pieces. So then you're gonna have, too, some big words, okay? So those will go together. And then again, you're gonna have a whole bunch of these like little hearts and flowers and that kind of thing. You're gonna have some little flags, okay? So we'll put those together. And then you'll always have just some other kind of 
seemingly random elements. So in this case, we've got a paw print. We've got this big um, circle that says pretty kitty. So we'll put those together. Okay. And those are all words and words and words. And I mean, come on, these are so cute. Um, and then this one that just says cat and it's got a little cat face. We're going to put that one there. Okay. And then you're going to have banners. Okay. So you're going to have the banners like this. These are about half an inch. And then you're going to have some longer, skinnier banners. Okay. Some of them will have words. Some of them might just have a little print on those. So we're going to sort those out separately as well. The other elements you're going to have are the little, um, well, they're a banner too. I'm not, I'm not sure what you would call these versus these. Anyway, another style of banner. Let's just do that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to sort those out by themselves as well. Here we have another little, you know, element. We've got hearts. We've got flowers. We've got the little thick banners. We've got more words. We have more of those. And I'm just going to kind of keep the flowers and the hearts kind of all together. And then again, more of these little word banners and tags and more tags. And this too, if you have ordered the um, My Happy Place album kit, um, before you do that class, because I know for uh, those of you, those of you that are not going to be here to go into the West Haven store to do that class, um, she is going to do it online. I would suggest sitting down before that class starts and sorting out your pieces because it's going to make it that much easier when you start working on that book um, to find your pieces again if you've got like pieces together. So like, you know, whatever element you're going to have like a little speech bubble. You can just pick up your speech bubbles and flip through them and find the one you need. Just makes it a lot easier and a lot less frustrating when, you know, trying to follow along whoops, and work on a project. Okay, I don't know where that one just went. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ugh, okay. And then the other element, and these were kind of buried, so is just like these little circle pieces. So just really cute. So I've got those sorted out. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to take all of my words and I'm going to put them on one side. I'm going to take banners and put them on another and then do the same thing across. So I've got those banners. I've got those banners. I've got those. I've got these little pieces. I have those little flag pieces together. I have the little stamp pieces together. I have these other little, you know, the circles and the other kind of oddball ones. And then I've got um, my little speech bubbles together too. And then my, my small elements. So my hearts and my flowers are also sorted out all together like so. So then you have your chit chat, you've got your odds and ends, and you are ready to create a project. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you again soon with a doodle bug project. Bye.